This is the story how I embraced Islam. I sometimes think that our lives is a mixture of scenes on a story. My life, the part that I will share with you, started when I went to jail in the year 2011. It was traumatic. I suffered permanent injuries. I woke up in a strange place where people wear uniforms like angels. I thought later and I realized it was just nurses in a hospital. I had no idea where I was or why I am there. I had no idea what was happening. My memories was in segments. I was being asked questions. I was being poked, pinched, prodded, and blinded by flashlights. Later on, after I woke up from the coma they said I was in, I was picked up and sent to San Francisco Jail Infirmary. I do not know why I am being treated like this. Did the good and positive part of me leaked out before they patched the bullet holes in me? I do not want to be like this person with a broken interior and a scarred exterior. My memory was affected to the point I could not recognize the woman who gave birth to me. She needed to tell me she is my mom before I connected the dots. I was told by the doctor I had to recover my memories and bodily functions before my brain tissues heals completely or I may not get them back again. This was the most demeaning and embarrassing moment of my life. Against all odds, I did my best to recover what I lost. I followed all the therapy I was given. Though my chronic headaches remained, I have to take painkillers for life. My anger and hate is still bubbles for me. I wish and try to isolate to get away from people, but being in jail, I failed. I blame everyone but myself. Somebody told me to try religion, but I refused due to my bad experiences from my former faith. I only stayed with a Christian faith to please my family. Due to my anger and America's Islamophobia, I picked up a Quran, which I thought at the time was a terrorist manual. Expecting hate and terrorism because of the media and the United States war on terror, I was surprised when the truth hit me between the eye to find love, wisdom, and enlightenment. Allah Akbar Allah Akbar Allah Akbar Allah Akbar Ashadu Allah Ilaha Ilala Ashadu Allah Ilaha Ilala Ashadu Allah Now that I am a real Muslim, I need to change the way I live. I have to give up my favorite food, which was a big. I have to practice this very sincerely. When I am able, I need to go to pilgrimage located in Mecca in Saudi Arabia. My life since my conversion has been good. I had no idea the Quran would change my life for good. I know that someday I will go home. It is only a matter of time. I will be home in no time. All Muslim strives to emulate what the Prophet did in his faith. In our prayers and when we gather, we remember Allah and His Messenger. I have only told a handful of my loved ones of my conversion, but I pray for my families and friends in their lifetime to accept Islam as their version. We cannot compel or force Islam on anyone. Only Allah has the power to get it done. I thank and praise him often every day for not letting me go astray. My story is not yet over. I am enjoying my journey more than ever. I am still a young Muslim. I want to be one forever.